boom, boom, boom. Like I'm, I'm ready. Like let's go. Putting those those thoughts and and emotions and genuine, genuine feeling. Forgive me of the things I have knowingly and unknowingly done. It takes so much pressure off. You are loved beyond measure. You are highly favored. You are called. You have a divine purpose. You are a queen. You are royalty. Those words were given to me today by the founder of LA Style Magazine, but she's far beyond that. She is an author of a book called Royalty, which is a prayer book. Today's episode is around prayer. For someone that needs something today in their life, for someone that's stuck, for someone that is going through something, this is a very unique episode with my dear friend, Trisha Lovebaggers. Welcome to the show, sweetie. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. This is such, this is amazing. I'm excited. Prayer is so important. It really is. It got me out of my darkest times. Prayer doesn't always mean, by the way, for everybody in a religious context. For anyone that's listening, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to pray with religion behind you as a connotation. I believe in God. I'm very spiritual. And I love being prayed over. Trisha the other day, she prayed over me. And I was like, wow. I literally felt ignited. She said these words of healing and affirmation. I felt so good. Prayer is affirmation. There's a quote I love. And it says, whatever ye shall ask for in prayer, ye shall receive. And I love that because it made me feel that whatever I pray for, as though I've already received it, thank you in advance. I'm so grateful for the abundance in my life. It flows into my life. How does prayer work? Yeah, I mean, that was beautifully put. I think that, you know, the basis of everything even, so people believe in many things. As for me, I believe in in Jesus, right? Because that's really what puts me in covenant with God to receive these blessings as his daughter, right? Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that are out there. So for me, like I was, we were kind of chatting beforehand, when we're able to pray and really release things to God, it takes so much pressure off because you literally have like the creator of the universe behind your back. So when you walk into rooms, you're not walking alone. When you surrender, Lord, I surrender this to you. Like close the doors that need to be closed, open the doors that need to be open. Like let your will be done in my life. That is massive because you have a son. I have a son, right? We want what's best for them. Mm -hmm. And as daughters of the most high God, he wants what's best for us. But sometimes what we think we want or what we think is best for us, we can't see the whole picture, kind of like when we're mothering and over, you know, we could see what's kind of coming up 10 feet away. So when we give it to him, we release so much pressure and we're in the best hands. That's so beautiful. So you just hand it over and just say the problem is is not greater than you. Yes. So let me hand it up to you. Mm-hmm. Like I do that before I go to bed. I think about something that's on my mind, something that's troubling me, something that I know I need to get rid of, off my mind, otherwise it's just gonna go around my mind all night, right? So I hand it up, I'm like, take it up. I'm like, just fix this problem, please. Mm-hmm. And I think about the solution. I know you can give me the solution. I repeat the words all the time, aloud. And this is one of the most powerful things I've ever done. And I say, thank you that this problem is resolved. Thank you that this problem is resolved. I visualize it being resolved. Thank you that this problem is resolved. Thank you that this problem is resolved. That went viral on my TikTok so many times. Thank you that this problem is resolved. Thank you that this problem is resolved. I say it over and over and over Mm -hmm. because I know that way God's already answered my prayer. Yeah. It is already done. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that. One of my favorite scriptures, and it's an anchor in this one. It's actually an anchor of the uh, intro that you read. Uh, it's Jeremiah twenty nine eleven, and it says, "For I know the plans that I have for you. For I know the plans that you have for me to prosper me and to give me hope and a good future." That is such a solid foundation and an anchor to prayers because it's like that's what's written. Mm-hmm. The Bible is literally His written word. It's that's what the Trinity is. So it's so beautiful to to lean on that. Let's do a prayer now. Let's do something for someone today. Choose one. Okay. What topic is this first? So this is one of the first prayers, and I actually just was tweaking this. So this is a preprint that I brought with you. The Ooh, first we get read the book. I love that. 
Um, so it's royalty, the scripture unveiled promises from the king of kings to his heirs. And this one is a prayer to receive God's greatest gift, which is love. And I love what you said before. You're like, you should add the picture of Jesus holding the heart. And I'm like, that is so good. Because each prayer in the book or affirmation um, has a beautiful picture that goes alongside it to bring it to life. We're all visual and it's just unique, right? So I'm going to see how I could change that in in print because this prayer is about that, about Jesus and his love. So I'll read it out loud. Uh, Heavenly Father, thank you today for this opportunity to connect with you. I'm so grateful for the goodness in this life. However, despite these things, I realize something's missing. I long for peace beyond understanding and a love that words can't fully describe. I pray you grant me this today. I surrender my life, my will, my plans to you, my creator. I trust in your word as it says in Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans you have for me, not to harm me, plans to give me hope and a future. I accept your son, Jesus, as my savior, the ultimate sacrifice so I may have eternal life in heaven. And through him, expand your kingdom here on earth as a newly crowned daughter of the most high God. Teach me your ways to walk in authority of all, over all powers and principalities as a queen you have called me to be. Forgive me of the things I have knowingly and unknowingly done. I'm over with trying things on my own. I accept your plan for my life along with your protection and joy. I ask you pour out your love and peace on me today in a new way. Heal the parts of me that only you know need mending and that I may be a new, in a new position of overflow for all these abundant fruits of the Spirit to pour out through me onto others. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, someone's new to prayer. and They're like, how do I manifest love in my life? What do they pray? So there are beautiful scriptures. I don't have one of those printed, but I do have one in there for your spouse and your partner. That's again, linked to the scripture because God's goodness, like he wants us to have a partner. He wants us to have a helpmate, to have that love and light. So um, there's something I love from it. And it once said, for every man, there is a helper. Mm -hmm. And that literally meant. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, in the mornings, what I do, and I actually pray this over my son too. I'll say, Lord, thank you so much for setting apart his wife. Thank you for setting him apart for his wife, that they'd be called to, you know, to expand your kingdom here on earth. And for myself, like just in prayer and and affirmation, just thank you, Lord, for my husband. Thank you that you're preparing him. Thank you that you're preparing me for him, um, that you've set him apart in your perfect time. So I'm able to transition thoughts that would otherwise be of um, fear of fear or hopelessness like man where is he why isn't he here today but again we can't see the grand scope of things like god created the whole universe like we can't humanly comprehend every little detail but if we to- truly trust and transition to gratitude like that's i feel like nine times out of ten what is like the switch and what he's waiting for like do you trust me mm. you know well i believe it through are you just only going to give gratitude when great things happen? Or are you going to give gratitude in the bad times? Mm. Like, what are your prayers like in the bad? Most people only pray when times get bad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I pray when times are good. Thank you. I'm so grateful. I pray when times are bad and good and when I want them to be good. I'm so grateful that and I think about the things I want. And I write it down and I script it. I write it down in the past tense. I am so grateful, which is prayer. I'm so grateful that... The abundance started pouring into my life in every way. I'm so grateful that I attracted to me X, Y, Z. I'm so grateful I made this amount of money so that I could go and build another school Mm -hmm. in Guatemala and in Ghana. I decided to really write it down. And I do those prayers and I write them out every morning. Every single morning I write it down in the past tense. Mm -hmm. Some people pray it verbally. I write it down, which is scripting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your most powerful moment of the day to pray? Um, So definitely in the morning. I lead with gratitude and it's something that I do with my son. So it's kind of like our routine on the way going to school, right? There's a couple things we do. It says in the scripture that we should put on the full armor, right? So this battle isn't just against flesh and blood. Like there really are, you know, we're we're spiritual beings and there's spiritual powers, but we have the ultimate power with Jesus. So there's no reason to fear. But um, so we always put on in the morning on the way to school. I say, Lord, um, right now, just camp your angels about and around us. Uh, We put on the full armor and I just, 
just lists the pieces like the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the sword, which is the word and the shield of faith. Um, and the last one is the shoes that lead us in the right path. But it's like, boom, boom, boom. Like I'm, I'm ready. Like, let's go, you know? Wow. Um, and then I'm also praying over covering. I'm praying covering over me and my son that my people that I do business with. Right. So that way, cause every day is a new day and his grace is new every morning. And in that same way, there's a real enemy out there and his attacks are trying to rev up in the morning. I'm like, nope, you just canceled, bro. Like go, go sit back down. And it's so important to know that authority and take that authority. And that's why I led with that first prayer. Cause it's like, when you enter into covenant with God in this way and you believe and you receive him, then you're, you're able to like activate those things and those promises with an authority that's just super powerful. <laughs> I love that. Can you imagine a life where you effortlessly magnetize your dreams to you? Financial success, the love of your life, the family of your dreams, and everything you've ever dreamed of at your fingertips. With my approach to manifesting, I have a practical method where you use the power of your creative words. It's called scripting. We write in the past tense in a certain way to attract all our desires to us. I've done this. I met my husband in three weeks doing this. I helped myself heal twice. I helped myself get rid of a rash on my body. I have helped myself to elevate myself and get myself out there to so many people. I've changed my bank account number. I've added two zeros onto it. I have created abundance like I could never dream of. The most beautiful homes around the world. And you can do this too, like so many of my clients are currently doing right now. The success stories speak for themselves. I want to show you how to do it. This is for somebody who is ready though. Don't even bother coming unless you are ready to transform your life. If you feel like, oh, I'm on the fence. I don't know. None of this shit really works. Then baby, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for you. This works for somebody who says, I'm ready. I'm ready to try something else. Try using the power of my words. I want to learn in a curriculum. I want to be in a group with other like-minded individuals and I want to win. This is for entrepreneurs who are ready to go to the next level or maybe get out of corporate America and go to the entrepreneurship world. If you're ready, come and join us inside the Scripting Society and I'll see you there. How does fashion play a part of your world? Um, you know, you obviously have the magazine, which I've been on the cover of, LA Style Magazine. Yes, yes thank you so much. I loved it. <laughs> How does that play a part for you? How does that work? So he's designed us all so uniquely. And it's like, that's my passion. That's something that I love. So it's it's a way to reach other people. Like everybody has a niche. You were saying this the other day when we were together on Saturday. You know, I attract a certain audience that's different than other people. So it's a way to connect with others. And I think that we're not supposed to do life alone. We're supposed to do life in community. So that's that's revolving around things that you like together. So, you know, that's, that's kind of how it plays. I love it. that. So it's like a community. You've built this amazing empire around this publication that's yours and so exciting and people can all be a part of it and read it and learn from it. I love that. Well, mm -hmm. I definitely felt that when I, when I was a part of that and, mm -hmm. and did that shoot. Okay. So let's go back to prayer. Okay. Is there a way that someone can, can pray on someone? How does that work? Like, and what does that do? Because I know when you pray with somebody, it's even more powerful. Yeah, definitely. You could pray over people um, 1 million percent. Again, when you enter into that covenant and, you, and you're activating those, um, those, those prayers and those gifts and those scriptures, it's just a matter of like, it, let's say I'm going to pray for you and your son or whoever's listening. So, you know, dear Lord, I just, I, I always lead with gratitude. So thank you for this day or thank you for, um, you know, this opportunity to pray here with Natasha. And I just pray over every single person that's listening today that they would encounter your love in a new way. Um, if you know something in particular that they're going through, you can, you can chime that in there. I'm not sure what everybody's going through in this moment, but I do know that our Father God in heaven does because he created you. So Lord, I just pray you meet them where they are and um, reveal to them your peace and um, just shine your love on them today. In mm -hmm. Jesus' name, amen. So it's just, um, you know, putting those those thoughts and, and emotions and genuine genuine feeling towards it right so beautiful yeah. i think prayer goes across every religion everything every aspect of life you know prayer can be just something in your soul you want to say thank you for maybe it's something you want maybe it's a wish maybe it's something to do with healing 
Prayer comes in so many different shapes and sizes. And to every single person, it's different. Some people pray privately. Some people pray publicly. Some people pray in their mind. You know, I like to give thanks all the time. So I'm like, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. I just count my blessings all the time because that way I'm showing God, the universe, that I can be in harmony with what he's giving me because I'm grateful for what he's giving me. So I, I want more of it. You attract to you what you are. You attract to you what you think. If most of your thoughts are super positive, guess what? You see more abundance around you. I can tell what you think about by your reality. I can tell what you do in your spare time by your reality. I can tell the predominant thoughts and feelings you have by your reality. Mm -hmm. Are you in a happy, harmonious marriage? Are you in chaos in your money situation? Are you in this, are you in that? I can tell what you think about. Do you pray for love every day and you're always loving to people? You're super loving. You're Thank so loving, you. you're so kind. Thank That's why you attract love to you. That's a good point. Actually, I have prayed probably like when I became more self-aware of what I was kind of struggling in. Nobody's perfect, right? I really struggled with loving people. The irony, my middle name mm. is love. Mm. Like, cause I'm so like quick and like business and like, let's go, 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 you know, like we got we got stuff to do that sometimes in the middle having grace with people everybody's on a different journey everybody's on a different process sometimes you have to slow down and somebody's there in your path to to address them that my prayer was god please help me love people more help me love people the way you love them give me the comp the compassion wow. that jesus has for them wow. to love people the way wow. that you did i prayed that and my capacity and compassion has increased from that because i really like work on me god work on me in this space but so I thank you for noticing that. <laughs> How's it? Yeah, I went straight to it. I just, I, I guessed it. That was, uh, it's so interesting because wherever we lack is where we want to give from. You lack in money, go give to charity. You lack in love, go be loving. You lack in feeling loved, go love. Any place you feel a lack of, you got to lean into. That's the only way that we receive more of that area because it's a giving and receiving cycle round and round. So you want to be as amazingly abundant everywhere of your life, whether it's health, whether it's wealth, whether it's money. So you've got to give from those areas. You want your brand to get out there more in the world. You've got to do more from that place of lack. You don't just sit and wait. Can we do a prayer now for someone? Let's do one for health and then we're going to do one for business. Let's do a prayer now for somebody who wants healing. And I want you to pause this recording and I want you to listen to it and then come back and listen to it again and again whenever you need it. Okay. So this prayer is um, focused on healing essentially, right? Because if you can, and I'm going to start the prayer in just a second. Let me just give a little context. But if you could truly understand that God created you for a divine purpose to expand his kingdom here on earth, to be an extension of his hands and feet, um, to show the love of Jesus with others in the world. And I always use that as my anchor because it's truly what I believe. So, um, this is super powerful because it creates healing throughout a lot of people's sickness is I'm not saying everybody's, but it stemmed from this this almost like lack of of connection or worth or things like that, that, that it's an inside issue, right? So this is a proclamation of your royal inheritance, a prayer, right? Um, dear Lord, I pray that everybody listening, Lord, that they would receive this word, that it says, Lord, we are your masterpiece. We are God's masterpiece. For you have created within us anew so that we can do things that you planned for us long ago through the resurrection power of Christ Jesus. Again, Lord, we anchor to the scripture of your word, which says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to heal you, to make you whole, to give you hope and a future. This is the confidence I have approaching God, that if I ask anything according to his will, he hears me. And Father God, this is your will because you want good for your children. So we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. So beautiful. Let's do a prayer now Can you see for the picture with it though. Yes, yeah, so beautiful. White angelic that. healing dress. Love that. Let's do one now for money or business. For somebody out there who needs that today. So this is from um, one of my favorite books in the Bible is Esther. And it's I don't know if you know the story of Esther, but essentially she was an orphan. 
She was brought into the, the palace at the time the Persian Empire was in primary control. And essentially, she was chosen amongst all the maidens of the land. She had a supernatural favor and a calling on her life to fulfill these things that were set out before her. So this prayer is based on that. It's a prayer, a proclamation of supernatural favor. It's um, based on Esther, Esther chapter 2. And it's taking the scriptures, putting them in first person. So it says, People in positions of high authority are impressed with me and treat me kindly. They grant me special treatments upon meeting me, as well as assign assistance to me while moving me up into positions of great influence. I am favored by everyone who sees me. Those in positions of high authority love me. They are so delighted in me that they welcome me into their circle of powerful influence. In honor of me, they declare publicly to everyone the favor I have with them. Prayer is, thank you, Lord, for the supernatural favor you have given me so that I may have great influence to spread the love and light of Jesus with the world. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So that applies to business clearly because you have more influence, you have more power than, you know, you can reign and, and help more people. So amazing. Well, I hope this episode has helped someone today. I know that prayer is a big part of so many people's lives and should be incorporated into your life. If it's not, it has helped me transform illness. It's helped me transform illness to health. It's helped me transform a lack of money to an abundance of money. Ooh, I have a gift. You have a gift. <gasps> Live on the show. Oh my Celebrating God. the oh queen you are. That is so beautiful. My own crown. It's like a headband. You can wear it all day, every day <laughs> with your hair down. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. That's so beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today. Be your queen empress self. Own who you are, king, queen, or unicorn. We love you.